Have you ever had an unruly guest who made hosting a challenge? I know I have. Let's talk about some solutions for that. Do you break into a sweat with even the thought of having company? I'm here to help. After trying just a few of my hosting tips, you'll be more than ready to say, come on over. Sometimes you've made the guest list, you've checked it twice, you've decided that all these people will work together and have a happy time in your home, and then you get an unruly guest. Toga! Toga! What do you do? Well, let's talk about some situations and how we can either head them off before they start or fix them as they're happening, which is definitely a bigger challenge. Is that a challenge? You can start by setting some boundaries. These are hard boundaries and you will not bend from these. Yes, ma'am. First of all, set a start and end time. So when you say, Bar opens at 5.30, that doesn't mean 5.15. Now someone might show up at 5.15, but you're probably gonna be ready because we've talked about that before, but it is a start time. More important than the start time is the end time. And sometimes people just totally ignore the end time. We're in the end game now. There's a solution for that, but at least you have set the end time. You can begin ushering people towards the door. You could even have plants within your party saying, well, the party's over, let's let them have their house back or let them get to bed. You could ask people to do that ahead of time. I have, it works every time. 60% of the time, it works every time. Boundary two would be to lock the doors of any rooms that are off limits, yes. It's perfectly fine to lock your master bedroom door. You probably have the key for that, so just go ahead and lock it. Because you know what? If people disappear upstairs, they're going to look in the rooms. They're going to look in your bathroom cabinets. So just head that off by closing and locking those doors. <laughs> You probably have passwords on all your devices. If you don't, you need to have passwords on all your devices. Let's say that your work computer is upstairs in your office. You need to have locked that computer down. Why? Because you may have an unruly house guest that goes up and decides to do a little search on your computer. It could be a legit search. They may be looking for something you were just talking about. It could be a not legit search. It could be something worse. So it learns information about me? Seems like an invasion of privacy. So let's just go ahead and lock down that device. That means even if someone tries to access that device, they cannot get in. They do not have the password. Even if they try to turn it on, because it's turned off, they still can't get in. Why? Because you've locked that device. Just do it ahead of time. Solves the problem before it ever comes up. Did Sheldon change the Wi-Fi password again? Uh, yeah, it's Penny already eats our food. She can pay for Wi-Fi. <laughs> no spaces. You may have a guest, maybe for coffee or tea or just a middle of the day situation who will not leave. I guess I should be going since it's so late. <laughs> Wait. I live here. I'm not the one who should be leaving. No matter how many hints you've given, no matter what you've said or invited. So in that situation, if you know this is a guest where it could be a problem to kind of shut it down, close down the party, have a designated out. That means you have an appointment. Well, I have a three o'clock appointment. Uh, let's get your purse, let's get your coat, let's get your bag, let's get your leftovers, whatever it is, and I'll walk you out and then I'm out of here too. That way you are actually legitimately leaving the house. Now your appointment might be going to the grocery store. Your appointment might be getting gas for your car. Your appointment might be anything that you can think of to get yourself and your guest out of your house. You grab your keys, you grab your purse, you grab your wallet, and you are out of the house. Garage door goes up, garage door goes down. You are gone. I'm moving on, I'm gone. There is no legitimate reason for your guest to still be at your house. You can head this off ahead of time by saying, hey, just wanna give you a heads up. 
I have an appointment I need to leave for at three. So you set the stage for that out. Works every time. You may have been in a situation where a guest has been overserved. Maybe you noticed it early on and were trying to cut back for them. Maybe you didn't notice it. It was a sneaky thing or you just were having too much fun with your other guests, but suddenly, obviously, someone is drunk. And there's the happy drunk, there's the loud drunk, there's the mean drunk. And any one of those can cause some unruliness, some uncomfortableness. So here's where you have to be a strong host or hostess. What you will need to do is draw that guest into another room so you can quietly and sincerely say, I think I'm gonna need to cut you off, or I think I'm gonna need to switch you to coffee, or I think I'm gonna need to have you eat something to help out here. You'll find the words or have them ahead of time. If you have a guest who you know tends to overindulge. You don't even know what they're gonna even say, what they're gonna, she asked me the whole thing and I didn't even do it, what? Go ahead and have that ready. It is not going to be a comfortable discussion. It may even turn angry, but this is your house. You're setting the rules. So you draw them in. Most times they'll agree, yeah, I probably had it a little too much, and serve the coffee. Get out a piece of bread, some sort of food that you can get in them to absorb that alcohol. Even with the coffee and the food and the time, your guest may not be able to drive safely. In that case, you need to call and pay for an Uber. It's your party, it's your responsibility, and that is the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do. Now, this is a little bit of a sneaky trick. Let's say that you had a party and there was a football game or a basketball game or some sort of event that was going on that involved the television. But at a certain point, people are not leaving. Maybe they have taken up what seems like permanent residence on your couch. There is a way to shut down the entertainment, and that is to use the parental controls on your internet TV service. If you have Xfinity or AT&T or any one of those, there will be a place where you can use parental controls. You can shut it down for an hour, you can shut it down for two hours, you can shut it down until you want to turn it back on. You don't need to tell your guest that you have shut down the internet or TV, it just goes off. The TV goes off and oh, we have no connection. There's no TV. I guarantee you, once that's gone, people will leave because TV has become a really important part of our lives and having internet access, very important. So you remove those things, party's over. Get out. You may have found yourself in a situation or you may find yourself in a situation where a guest walks in and from their phone takes over your music. This has actually happened to me. They walked in, they connected to the device, and suddenly we're hearing ACDC blasting throughout the house. What do you do? Well, you can head that off ahead of time, but you can also fix it in the midst of it. Let's talk about heading it off. When someone comes into your home, listen to me folks, do not share your password. Don't do it. I know it seems like the kind thing to do. I've always depended on the kindness of strangers. But if you have a house full of people and it's a party situation, you will not share your password. How you will not share it is when they ask for it, you can just say, <laughs> it's this long, complicated series of numbers and letters. I don't, I don't, I don't know. You know, we'll just go with what we have going and then go on and do a party thing. But you have shut that down. You're not sharing the password. You may not even know the password. That may be legit. I've seen some passwords that are Y, Z, Q. 
a question mark, it, there's no way you're gonna memorize that. So, I don't know, even if it's not true. No one can survive in the adult world if they have to stick to the truth. You're not going to share your password. Say it with me, not going to. It heads off any sort of problem like that, okay? So now you have the music going, it's wonderful music, you have not shared your password, you control that. But let's say you have a record player and you're gonna play records on it. And that's super fun, we've done that. You wanna remove any record of music you don't want. Maybe you are having a hard rock 80s music night and you are going to rock out. Okay, let's get the ACDC going. Maybe you're gonna go with 70s, 80s Bob Seger. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Maybe you're gonna have Van Halen because hello, rock and roll. Maybe you're gonna go way back and have Foghat. You can see that these are really more Jimmy's albums than mine, but what you don't want to happen is if you're having a 50s, 40s, a big Crosby night or a uh, jazz night, you don't want in your stack of albums ACDC. Why? Because you may not want to inject the venom into your party, or maybe your party will then be snowballed, <laughs> or maybe evil walks through the door. No, we don't want that. We don't want that with jazz. So let's make sure that any album you don't want being played on the record player has been put away. Shall I even say hidden? Maybe they'll say, don't you have anything that rocks a bit more? No, nope. this is our stash. This is what we have. This is what... You don't have to give in to a demander of another kind of music. Just leave the albums out that you then are inviting your guests to go ahead and choose from and play. And that way everyone stays on the theme and has a wonderful musical evening. Finally, you might have a, shall we call it, bossy guest. This would be a guest who arrives and is like, okay, I'm hungry, let's sit down. They might pull out a chair, they might get their fork and knife ready, and they have decided it's time to eat. I just want to eat, which I realize is a lot to ask for. But it's not time to eat because you have actually given your guests what time you're going to eat. You gave them that information when you invited them. Cocktails at 5.30, dinner at 6. Or you might have said cocktails at 5.30 and not actually said when dinner was going to be served. But there is food out. There are beverages out. So the bossy guest doesn't get to have the say. This has actually happened to me. I have actually pulled the guest aside and said, so this is my house and you're a guest here and dinner will be served when it's time to be served. Could I interest you in some appetizers? Problem solved. You've been, you've been they might come in and demand other things. This music is awful. Let's play some ACDC. I'm giving them a bad rap, but you know what could happen? And you're like, you know, it's a jazz party, so we're gonna play jazz, but you know what? Maybe we could put together an 80s rock and roll party another time. So go choose a jazz album. We'd love to hear it. There are so many ways that you can gently, but firmly stop the bossy guest from getting the better of you. You don't have to get angry. You don't have to get mean. You just have to be ready. And if you can get yourself ready, for these kinds of situations before they happen, you will feel so confident as the perfect party host. But it's likely something will happen, a new thing, and you will find yourself just thinking so fast to solve that problem because you already have an arsenal of ways to solve an unruly situation. <laughs> that was a, the weirdest. <laughs> Are you filming this? Have you ever had an unruly guest? <laughs> just in general, just, just throwing a question out there. Don't really care about your answer. Have you ever had an unruly guest? I can see you looking at me. <laughs> move, move, move. Have you ever had an unruly guest who made hosting a challenge? This opening is a challenge, I can tell you that! Let's start with setting boundaries. You can start off by reading what's on the screen. Come on over. Now go make someone feel special today.